Hey there, my name is Megan. I am the nutrition coach here at Gravity and Oxygen Fitness. And lately I've had a lot of people tell me I eat pretty healthy, I work out every day, and I just don't see results. My weight on the scale doesn't move, my clothes don't fit any differently, I'm not losing any body fat. There must be something wrong with me. It must be my hormones or something else. Well, I hate to say it, but if you stay, you eat pretty healthy, my guess is you really don't. And that's not just saying that you're not eating healthy. It's a lot of times we're just not aware of what we're doing. When people feel like they get stuck in this, I'm eating healthy but nothing's happening, they tend to focus on extremes when it comes to nutrition. So focusing on nutrient timing or trying to intermittent fast or go keto or go paleo or hit these extremes, usually that's a uh, sexier way to approach your nutrition rather than just eat a good variety of whole foods. But it's not sustainable for a lot of us, especially if we don't really know what we're doing. When we try to make huge changes at one time, it usually leads us to falling off the wagon, not too far down the road. When I sit down with someone and ask them what they eat throughout a day, they're usually right. They eat pretty healthy. They tell me, you know, they have coffee and eggs for breakfast, a salad at lunch, and meat and vegetables for dinner. And I'll have to agree with them. You're right, you do eat pretty healthy. If this is what you're eating every day, I don't know why you're not losing weight either. So then taking it a next step further is having them actually food log for about three to five days. And this, they have to be 100% honest, there's no judgment on the other end, and write down every single thing that goes into your mouth for three to five days. And then once we go back and look at the food log, it's usually pretty clear that what they're saying they eat is not matching what they actually eat. And this isn't that they're lying to me or not being honest with themselves. Usually it comes down to we're just not aware. We're not great at recalling what we've done the day before or on a day-to-day -day basis. Most of us can't even remember what we had for breakfast this morning or what our workout was yesterday. How are we supposed to remember these little things we eat throughout the entire day? We just can't. For a lot of us, just writing our food down can be pretty eye-opening. I know I had one person who, again, said they eat pretty healthy, and then after food logging realized they were grabbing little bits of candy, just one bite here or there, throughout their entire day. Well, one little bite of candy a day is not a big deal, but add, you know, 15 bites up over the course of an entire day, that's a lot of extra calories. And they just weren't thinking about it. It was something they didn't even really know they were doing until they wrote it down and could see. So once we have this food log, you can probably see for yourself things you're not getting enough of or things you're getting too much of. Look at your three to five day log. Do you have a lot of processed foods on there? Are you getting enough vegetables? Are you drinking a lot of water? Are you drinking a lot of high calorie drinks? What could you be doing better with your food? Are you eating out a lot versus cooking in more? So all these things will come to fruition once you can see exactly what you did. Because again, I don't expect anyone to remember what they do all day, every single day. Knowing exactly what you're eating every day will give you a good starting point to start to make some changes. And you'll probably be able to see them for yourself. You need more veggies, you need more protein, you need less crap. Usually that's what it comes down to. You don't have to go to the extremes. If you need any further help with your nutrition, I am always here at Gravity and Oxygen waiting to help you. Have a great day.